And we are back. Friday Night Football continues onward. It is Friday Night Football number 33, presented by Mudhead, sponsored by our friends over at Grubhub. And don't forget that Grubhub's got 95,000 restaurants in over 1,700 cities. Make sure you're using that code TOUCHDOWN for $10 off your first order of $15 or more in the app. And a big thank you to Grubhub, as always, for sponsoring Friday Night Football as we get to round three action. This is Clef the God taking on Trey, Cri Trey Kings. Clef up 7-3, fourth and 10, going for it, picking it up. And why not? It's Marvin Harrison and Nick Mazesco. Zan with you. And Zan, we saw Marvin Harrison with Clef. Uh, man, he, he, Marvin Harrison in the backfield. Marvin Harrison split out wide left. It didn't really matter. He was the star for this Clef the God offense. Yeah, you're going to see him right here dotting that eye at tailback. He's going to run this stretch RPO lookie on that backside. And you see right here what Marvin can do. Just the top end speed. We talked about this earlier. Clef is a th passer. He wants to throw the ball the majority of the game. But if he gets a sense that you can't stop the run, he's going to use the halfback split in package. That's going to put his running back, Corey Grant, out at wide receiver. He's going to get the guys that he pays the big cap to, his receivers, at tailback. All right, y'all, we're back here in round number three. Let me give you a reset of who is in round number three. All eight of these players invited back next week. Joe Kandrini, Trey Kings and Clef, 49er and Hefty Who, and Big Georgian Suspect all qualify. They will get an invite to next week's Friday Night Football. Yeah, a lot of names that we saw in this tournament went down early. The King lost in the first round to 49er, who we just said made the final eight. Uh, our champion, Oreo, losing in the second round to Big George. Uh, a lot of great names. VY Electrify went down first round. I mean, Kerry Q went down first round. It was a, uh, a, a, a strong field, but it tells you how tough it is here in Friday Night Football. And all you guys in the chat, I know you're clamoring for more giveaways. Let's do one of them right now. We're going to give away is... This hill wide open on the right side. Let's give away one of those Grubhub $20 gift cards. All you got to do in the chat is put the word Grubhub, one word, no spaces, and you'll be entered to win $20 in free grub from our sponsor, Grubhub. We got fourth down in inches after That's that spot right spot. there. Yeah, it looks like the ball didn't cross the line of gain. So fourth and in inches off after that drag. And now we're going to see the near jumbo formation. Looks like Pat Willis here at the tight end spot. Gonna go up the middle to Juice Jack. Oh, I don't, think he, I don't think he got there. It's a turnover on downs. How about that defense from from Trey Kings stopping Clef? A questionable spot on third down turns into a turnover on fourth. Yeah, you see right there. That's sometimes what happens when you don't pay the cap to the running back if he's not the I form wing formation. You see right there, he's got to rely on Kyle Juszczyk to pick up the short yardage situation. Great defense there by Trey Kings. Ten out of ten on whoever put the DoorDash command in chat. <laughs> But exclamation point DoorDash, Nightbot response to the Grubhub is better. 10 out of 10. Gotta love it. Big shout out to our friends over at Grubhub. 7 through the score, and it's going to be Trey Kings with the ball. And class defense coming up with a tackle in the backfield. A loss on the play. And now with a minute 19 to go in the first half, it is third and nine for Trey Kings outside of field goal range at the moment. Another game going on in our round of eight is Joke versus Drini. Now keep in mind that Drini just beat Joke's lab partner, Little Man. So Little Man certainly probably flying in those uh, adjustments <laughs> that he needed to. Loudly and in his ear. <laughs> third down and nine here for Trey Kings. Bunch tight end formation with Holt. And Brady dropping back on third and nine. Looking to the corner out. Picked off. That's Marshawn Lattimore, the former Buckeye with the pick. Little stop and go. And how about Lattimore down the sidelines to the 35-yard line? Big congrats, by the way, to two joints. Check your whispers. You won that Grubhub gift card. But how about the lurk underneath from Marshawn Lattimore? You saw right there on that play, he used motion of Torrey Holt to blitz. Only had three guys on routes right there, and he threw the corner route right to Lattimore. And now we got Clef with an opportunity to either make this a two-possession game or get a field goal and make it a touchdown lead. Seven three, the score, and how about the uh, turnover for Clef and the big return? Now under a minute to go in the first half, and Clef with that return gets into field goal range. You know, he's looking for six. Rogers, blitz picked up nicely. He's going to look underneath. That's a tough throw into tight coverage, but big catch by Torrey Holt. Only two on the play. Going to bring up a second and eight. 
So you see right here, he's running more of this Max Protect style bunch. That, again, only allowing three guys out on routes. That's a strategy that worked very well in Madden 18 and Madden 19. I'm not saying you can't get the job done in Madden 20, but throwing those corner routes isn't as automatic as it used to be, which does limit this offense's you know, effectiveness. You see right there, he goes to that wheel oh. route. And right there, it looked like a bad break for... Trey Kings, he threw that a little bit early in the wheel route, stopped an opportunity for an interception. Just missed right there by Trey Kings. Now Clef's going to have first down and goal after that huge break right there. D'Angelo, 59-50. How many more Moss cards left? We got four more Moss cards to give away. Three will be given away here during the stream. One will be given away in our Kahuna giveaway on Twitter following the stream. So make sure you tune in. Make sure you're active in chat and following the channel so you are entered to win all of our giveaways. Must be following. Make sure that you guys are also being a positive force for good, as Guru always says in the chat. We have one of the best communities out here on Twitch. We appreciate you guys. And that's going to be swatted in the oh, second. off. Oh, Ken Houston drill. off the swat by Ryan Shazier. Look at this one more time. Swat and diving play in Clef after a fortunate to not throw a pick on the prior play. Madden sometimes will get you back with an interception in the end zone. You know, right now, Trey Kings is saying, ball don't lie right there. That huge swat by Shazier back into the hands of awaiting Ken Houston. Now he's going to go outside to Dalvin Cook. Hey, no matter what, that's huge because it takes points off the board for Clef. We'll see who gets the ball coming out at halftime here as this is going to take us to halftime. Low scoring affair here in this round three matchup. Trey Kings got some defense. Clef up 7-3, though, at the half. Could have been much worse. So, I, it's going to be Trey Kings getting the ball. I see my man Kia in the chat says, Randy Moss is the most uh, he's the most costly crack-blocking receiver of all time <laughs> in terms of Madden 20's meta. Yeah, definitely uh, some window dressing for these salary cap teams. But, you know, when you run the ball heavy, to have a deep threat like that that can get open off a of play action, you know, just beat a guy on the nine route down the sideline, that's huge. And Randy Moss is going to be able to make those aggressive catches as well. It's on first and ten. How about a little run? Cut back inside. Dalvin Cook spins off a tackle. He's, on he's still feet. on his he's feet. Going. And he's still going. He's in the other side. Can Lattimore catch him? Inside the 20. Inside the 10. Dalvin might have turned into Dalvin. With that carry as Trey Kings takes the lead over Clef. Tell you what, if you're playing against Clef right now, you better roster Dalvin Cook. We saw in the first round he got loose on Clef a couple times. Continues to struggle to stop Dalvin Cook. So you maybe don't have to have Bo Jackson, Gale Sayers. Go with that Dalvin Cook item. Playing tough for Trey Kings as Clef finds himself down 10-7 after he had an opportunity to extend his lead to two scores. Instead, a pick in the end zone at the end of the half, and then coming out, Trey Kings gives it to Dalvin Cook, who has been cooking today, and it is a 10-7 ball game. Right here, if you're Clef, you had two questionable reads in a row down in the red zone. It hasn't been the between-the-20s offense that's been hurting him in this game. It's just been once he gets down to scoring range, those passing lanes get a little bit tighter. I go to the verticals right here, looking down the sideline, and again, That's there's got to be an adjustment pick. that Trey Kings is making wow. right now. His wheel routes are not clearing cloud flats. They're kind of bumping in. I don't know if it's a, you know, a curl flat zone or if he's shading a certain way, but that's not an accident. We saw that earlier. We thought it should have been a pick. He threw a pick on the next play. Right there, same exact thing. So Trey Kings is doing something. That pick by the Atlanta Falcons star Desmond Trufant, and Trey Kings, all the momentum on his side as he'll pick up a couple on the ground, but Clef you got to know, though, even though he's struggling right now, he is as good as anybody as putting mistakes out of his mind and staying focused to stay in the ballgame. Great run defense there. Shazier shoots the gap on that zone call, that outside zone from the eye close. Very popular run call in Madden, especially early on in the year. But you're starting to see the players are really catching on to the defense to stop those stretch calls from those formations. Third down 11, going to go to the big dime 1-4-6 one, four, stick, uh, one four, six formation. That seven across alignment can be very tough to pick up, even with some max protect. And the blitz picked up, though, as Brady gets out of the pocket. Look at the corner route. It's a tough throw and a tight coverage. And He caught it. He caught it in traffic. I need to see this replay again. Nick is silent. Yeah, double coverage. Had Tillman there. I mean... I, that's one of those plays, Zan, I, and I get it's the competitive game, and I get that you're looking for turnovers. That's one where I'd love to see him 
just go for the SWAT or go to play the receiver because when you go for the – and people can complain about not coming up with the interception, but with Tillman going for the interception, it's a linebacker on a wide receiver going for a pick. That animation – it turns into a much more of a 50-50 ball when you don't go for the swat. I think right there you're paying you're paying the big cap to a guy like Tillman. You got double coverage. I mean, in that spot, it should not hurt to play for the pick. You've heard in the past that if you play for a pick one-on-one, -on -one, it does lead to more aggressive catches. But when you have another player there to help apply that catch and traffic penalty, I, I, I don't know. It's just – actually, I do know. It's got to be a pick. It's got to be a pick in that spot. That's tough. I mean, you're you're paying, and I said this in the first round. Apke is outplaying Tillman for Clef right now. Yes. He's been making more plays for Clef than Patrick Tillman, or Pat Tillman has made. It's it's insane. Or Tilly Willie. I, I, I mean, his he's getting good production out of Troy Apke, but he's getting nothing out of that Tillman item. A third and eight. Brady dropping back. Pressure right up the middle. Oh, that was a nasty little double team split by Fletcher Cox. The actual Eagle in the Eagles uniform. And Trey Kane's going to kick a field goal. It's going to stay a one score game. Ball is down. The kick is up. And it is good. And you've got to think that is a positive win for Clef's defense holding Trey Kane. It's only a field goal. Especially after that broken heart there on that double coverage. Probably should have been a pick for Clef to only allow three off of that. There's a lot of Madden players in the community that would have raged and not stayed focused going forward. And that three could end up being seven right there for Clef. He still gives himself a chance. Still plenty of time left in this ball game, only down by six. 13-7, the score. Minute 42 to go in the third quarter as we are in round number three. All these players have secured their spot in next week's Friday Night Football as a quick throw to the flat. Clef's got to find some other passing attack, though, because right now, Trey Kings has made an adjustment defensively and is locking it down. He's doing a good job. The verticals play that Clef loves is definitely shut down. He's going to have to rely heavily on mesh post and stick going forward. He's going to have to figure out something because that wheel route that he uses to dominate a lot of times is not just, it's just not getting open for him. On second and 10. Nice throw right side. Not going to get the first down. I, excuse me. There's somebody in the chat I think we need to get kicked out. His name is Bugatti Boogs, I think is how it's pronounced. <laughs> Our man Bugatti Boogs playing the weekend league with the salary cap team. Boogs, how'd that go for you today, man? Make sure you all go over to his channel, Bugatti Boogs. Give him the follow. Check out his streams. He's Our guy Boogs, as great always. Job. The Honda himself, Bugatti Boogs, third and inches. For Clef the God, down 13-7, to 7, utilizing the entire play clock. He's going back to that wheel route. Let's watch Harrison on this route. Rodgers dropping back. Yeah, see, he stopped there. again. He's looking for it. He's, he's, got the, he's keying in on Marvin Harrison. We've seen so many times that wheel route running down the sideline runs right by that cloud flat, but he's bumping into him. That's the third time we've seen that here. So, again, he can, he's, he's got to scrap the verticals play. And, or if he's going to run it, he can't use the outside receiver on the wheel route. And here we go, fourth and 15, and Clef's going to go for it, trying to stay alive in this game, nearing the fourth quarter, down by six. Rodgers dropping back. Pressure picked up, looks at the corner, out, has a man! That's Marvin Harrison! Great throw, great adjustment by Clef, switching up the play call and finding the Colts legend on a corner out. Our guy Slammer in the chat. Appreciate you, Slammer. Thank you, man. Book Sam's says nine he's 9-3. and 9-3, and three. Nine and three. okay. That's <laughs> Hey, with salary cap on weekend leagues, that'd be tough. I mean, playing that new tug-of-war mode with a salary cap team is tough against some of these god squads. So imagine playing a full game against some of these teams. 13-7. to seven. Clef staying alive. What a fourth down conversion. And now, back to the tote game. And at the Harrison, and we've seen this so much. Hurdles in open space. Marvin Harrison to the end zone. Clef ties the ball game up. Marvin Harrison is the Clef offense right now, whether it's a corner route on a big fourth down for a conversion or a stretch calls we've seen time and time again for Clef. It is Marvin Harrison. Remember, uh, what, what Madden was it when that stretch call was called like PA slant 18? The old Peyton Manning with the Colts playbook. You remember that? Yeah. It was the little Z route to Marvin Harrison. Yeah. Yeah. Just seeing that stretch call mixed in with it, but Marvin's actually running the stretch takes me back a little bit. As we have Clef taking the lead by one. Six seconds to go here in the third quarter. We're going to have quite the fourth quarter coming up in this one. A big shout out to D. Croft, by the way, with the two months of subscribing. Shout out to D. Croft. Shout out to Canona with the five tier one gift subs. 74 total for Canona.
in the chat as the Vikings horn continues to play, and I'm continually annoyed that we don't see the sweet dabs on screen as it is fourth quarter time. Four's up in the chat. Throw them up. It's a one-point game. Are we are we really about to do that? The dab gif of it's us? Dabs, man. That's the what I Kyle want. dabs a lot? Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> Dude, you get, you get coming with that stuff. Legendary. You get hit with the dabs. Got to get hit with them. Kyle dabs a lot, and I'll dab a lot when you... Uh, Hit that sub button. Look at this little run defense here by Clef using the double spy for those outside linebackers. That's something a lot of people don't know. Spies are a great adjustment against the run in this game. Oh, wham action. Bounce outside with Cook, but how about the shoestring tackle in the backfield? A loss on the play sets up a third and 11, and Zan, it feels like that fourth down pickup might have shifted the momentum. Yeah, you're seeing Trey King's getting a little bit conservative here. Uh, he had... He had the box for Clef, but Clef found his way out with that huge corner route setting up Marvin Harrison's stretch call. Here's Marvin Harrison for Trey Kings picking up the first down. Marvin giveth, Marvin taketh away. So right now, if you're Trey Kings, your mindset's got to be field goal. Do not give Clef the ball back. We, Clef has figured out what he wants to do offensively after three slow drives in a row. I feel like if you give him the ball back, Clef is probably going to go down and score. So he's going to want to make this as close to the final possession of the game as possible. 320 and counting it is a one-point ball game. First and 10 for Trey Kings. Round three action here in Friday Night Football. And it's going to be a handoff up the middle to Dalvin Cook, and he's there got he a goes. lot of room. Brian Dawkins back there trying to make the play. Cook, does he get the edge? He's going to be taken down to the 30-yard line. Dalvin Cook is cooking. And the clock stays running right there. I was curious to see if they would stop it, but it looks like he did go down. Yeah. The knee did come down inbounds. That's huge. Another 30 seconds off the clock here for Trey Kings. Big shout-out to the Madden refs with the correct call. They don't get enough credit. Is there a Madden Ed Hockley <laughs> out there? Does he have the pipes? The... Oh, you know he does. I t if, if I needed somebody to defend me, Ed Hockley's at the top of my list because I feel like he – man, he's got those – did I hear that he's a lawyer, too, or a, yes. a judge or something? Lawyer. Yeah, a lawyer, too. He's an attorney. Oh, Marvin Harrison giving Clef a taste of his own medicine. Timeout taken by Clef. All so, right, y'all. Uh, I think we should give away one of those Randy. It's not just the 92 Randy Moss. It's not just that. You're getting 5,000 in training. You're getting the power up. You're going to be able to make that Randy Moss all tricked out. But I don't know if you guys want it, so uh, I got to see some dice emotes in chat. If you guys want to roll one of those Randy Moss cards, throw up your dice emotes if you're a sub to Mutthead TV. First and 10 for Trey Kings, and there's that run defense from Clef. Second timeout taken. I'm not sure. I, I can't tell if they like it. I don't know. Don't know if they want Moss. Two timeouts. Yeah, I need, I need to see more. There we go. I was going to say, I need to see some more dice. We're talking Randy Moss, 93 overall right now, guys. I'm telling you. If there you we go. If this is the first. If he doesn't, if, if you don't want it, Rockets will take him. Yeah, oh, absolutely. He I'll loves take, Randy. I'll take it. 14-13. Clef with the lead, but Trey King's driving. He's using all this play clock. Clock has stopped, though. Changing up the play. He's going to run a little stretcher on left side for Dalvin. And there's Ryan Shazier with the sure tackle. Timeout taken by Clef. Third down. Clef's in a pretty good spot right here. I mean, you could pick up the first down without getting the touchdown, stay in bounds, and take it to the two-minute warning. In that case, Clef would be in a lot of trouble. But right here, third down and 13, be pretty tough for him to pick up this first down and somehow, <laughs> somehow, some way, stay in bounds, take this to the two-minute warning. I believe that is... Uh... Dalvin Cook at the top of the eye. Yep, he is. 220 to go. He's going to split Gillespie out to the left side. They're on that stretch play with Dalvin Cook. Need to make a tackle here, and they do. That'll take him all the way down to the two-minute warning. And uh, listen, we've seen short field goals get missed before, Zan. you got to lock it and make sure you make the kick. Yeah, all you have to do to prevent a block chance is just hit the accuracy bar this year. So, I mean, in so it's spot, no longer you need to hit the top and the bottom. Right. It's just the bottom now. Yeah, so you could just take a little bit off the swing, hit a little lob wedge, you know, just make sure that you, uh, you get Mickelson the accuracy right. Exactly, a little Phil Mickelson on this. Oh, a little 64-degree wedge. This one, 32-yard field goal. It is up. It is good. Minute 57 to go. Cleft down by two. No timeouts remaining. But you're telling me, Zan, if there's anybody I could pick to lead a drive with no timeouts left, it is probably Clef the God. He's certainly on the short list. You got guys like Kiv. You got guys like, uh, honestly, Joe Rice has gotten into that conversation as a primary passer. Guys like Skimbo. You know, 
Clef is up there too. He, yeah. he is very surgical and he found the key to unlock that box on his last drive. So we'll see what he could do here. Need to just get a field goal here for the win. Big congrats to our winner of that Randy Moss card, DPAR816, a follower and a subscriber. Make sure you check your whispers. You're looking for one from Rockets. Make sure you claim your card because you know the reroll dice, they're already rolling. RIP1127 asks, why does everyone scum kick? You don't want to, in salary cap, you don't pay big time cap to your backup players. That means you got slow, weak, low acceleration, low tackle players on special teams. So you kick it to the fullback and just give them the extra 10, 15 yards of field position. And low carrying as well. If you're able to land one of those hit six, we've already seen a couple fumbles. Very true. Very true. That's why you see a lot of players that are covering the ball on all their kick returns. They don't want to fumble. Money drive indeed. A guap drive for Clef. Trying to stay alive for that $1,000 and make it to the final four. Down by two. Second down and one. Rodgers in the shotgun. Little gun bunch action for Clef the God as we're under the 130 mark to go in the game. Rodgers dropping back. He'll dump it off underneath to Tyreek Hill, but a good tackle by Desmond Trufant. No gain on the play. Going to be a third down. That's a rough throw right there. He made it an accurate throw, but the throw was just enough to pull him back behind the first down marker, so still stays the same. Third down and one here for Clef. Looking for uh, that split end out there on the left, see if he can beat the coverage up top. Rogers oh, he does. Back. He's got him. Take the shot. And he does he looks it. over He's the middle of the, the field. He's going to take Holt, and he drops it. It's going to be fourth down and a misread, perhaps, from Clef the God. And now he's got to make sure he picks up one yard. So right there, Clef was using that split in on that streak as a pull route. I don't think he was actually using him as the first read in the progression, although he was open. He was looking for that to pull the deep zone and open up the post, but Trey Kings was all over it on there. Oh, can Clef get one simple yard? Drop him back. Pick, picked up nicely. Throws to the flat. Juszczyk makes the catch and breaks a tackle. And he's going to go out of bounds to the 48-yard line. Clock is running. It looks like that knee came down in bounds. But how about Juszczyk coming up with a big play and picking up 11? Huge pitch and catch for the first down. But now the clock is rolling. Still just needs a few extra yards for first down here. Or for field goal range, rather. And now he'll get out of bounds, stopping the clock. And we were talking about this uh, earlier. I love that throw right there because he he rolls left with Rodgers with the user, pulls the user left, it opens up the drag route on the right side of the field. Yeah, he's running a mesh post concept. He's max protecting the running back and juice check playing tight end, gives himself seven blockers, and then he's trying to drift, like you said, and try to pull that user towards the post that's breaking over the middle, and then he just kind of tucks it underneath back to that corner underneath and uh, gets out of bounds. Second and two, gun bunch, 40-yard line, be a 57-yard field goal from here. Don't know what he has spent on a kicker, but you got to think he's going to need to pick up some yardage to get into field goal range. Rodgers out of the pocket. There is nobody open as he rolls that way. He'll throw it away. Bring up a third and two. Sam, where would you like to probably see you get probably 30-yard 30, 30 line somewhere around there? Would be a 47-yarder. Yeah, most most guys in salary cap are using that Boswell. Uh, I think he's really only good from like 52, 53 tops. They are indoors here, so oh, quick check that. Oh, he's got and it's granted. He is in open space inside the 20, inside the 15, down the sidelines, near the end zone. They're going to call him down to the one, but how about the play? He sees the blitz coming, makes a man miss, and Grant rolls down the sidelines, 18 seconds and counting. I can't tell if that was just bad click on user tackling by Trey Kings or if that was a bad break. I'll have to see that again. Uh, if AntCap's able to get that clip for us, that would be, that'd be amazing right there. But quick check down right there to Corey Grant. And I just got done talking about how he's really not the big cap guy. Uh, he likes to use Marvin Harrison as his primary tailback in the I form. Right there with the game on the line, though. 87 speed Corey Grant, great budget gold running back. If you're a primary passer of the ball, that's a guy you can roster. Neil taken by Clef. By the way, that uh, that Randy Moss card. Shout out to Deep Par eight one six claiming that one. 13, 12 seconds, eleven seconds, and counting. You think he's got the kicker to make a nineteen yard field goal? <laughs> I'm just wondering. I know there's yeah, not a lot so. of caps spent on kickers. But. I think that's within his range. He is iced. Just needs accuracy meter for no block chance. So, again, you can hit a little, just a little gap wedge right here. Ten seconds. Ball is down. The kick is up. And it is good. Seven seconds remaining. And Clef with a couple big plays to not what many would consider big players. Kyle Juszczyk, Grant, 
those bit players, those lower cap guys to fill out your team, coming up huge for Clef the God here in round number three. Not too many mistakes made by Clef. Yeah, the post route he threw in traffic a little bit. He did miss the Marvin down the sideline for the touchdown on that play, but it was the role players. Again, uses juice check just simply as a fullback, a physical guy, can truck over a corner every now and then on a flat route. You saw him do that. And then he uses Corey Grant and just makes a guy miss in open space. And here we go. Five seconds left. There's a miracle left. Handoff to Dalvin Cook, who's been so good for Trey Kings. Clocks Ooh. at zero. Can he make a couple guys miss? He cannot. And Clef the God, what, what a, a game. performance. As he, with the guap drive under two minutes to go, no timeouts left. He gets down the field, kicks a field goal, and just like that, Clef is on to the final four. And here's our replay. I, I, what I want to see here is what he did in terms of the click on. Did he click on? Yep, he did. Yep. He just he played it. Like he, he went for a pick on that instead yep. of going for a swat or just trying to tackle the ball carrier. So for those that are saying, oh, that was BS, he should have, you know.